Hi guys, my name is Rushab and today we are going to see how to create a fixed deposit tracker. I am going to split this into three videos so I can go into depth into each aspect of the tracker. Why this tracker? Let's say you have three members in your family and you have bank accounts across three banks. You have opened fixed deposits in each of the banks. Now how do you track all the fixed deposits in a single go? This Excel is going to help you how to do that very easily. So let's go over the first part of the entire tracker and then after you see this, go through the other two parts as well. Let's start. So this is the structure that we'll be following to create this tracker. I'm going to first put in some dummy data so you understand better. So now there are three bank accounts, Access Bank, HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank. And there are three members in the family, husband, wife and son. In each of the accounts, there are certain fixed deposits created with these amounts. I have mentioned start date for each of the fixed deposit as well as the period of each fixed deposit in terms of years, months and days. Now let us start calculating the maturity date. So we keep our cursor on this cell and use the formula equal to date. What does equal to date require? It requires three parameters, year, month and day. Using this particular formula, we will be able to add the start date and the period to get the end date which is the maturity date. So for the year, we need to say take the year from this cell, close the bracket. So the year is extracted that is 2014 and add these many years. So currently it is zero, so it's not going to add any years. If it was one, it would have add one year to it. Comma, second parameter, month. Again, take the cell of the start date plus these many months. Comma, day. Again, take the start date plus these many days. Close the bracket and press enter. You immediately get the maturity date for the fixed deposit in Axis Bank of the husband of amount 10,000 rupees. If you want one more example to understand the equal to date formula, click on the link below. Let's go ahead. Now you want to calculate the number of days of the fixed deposit. Why do we need this? To be able to calculate the interest amount exactly. To get the number of days, we simply have to select the maturity date minus the start date. It will immediately give you the number of days between the two dates. So as simple as end date minus start date. Enter. So this particular FD is 273 days. Let's copy these two formulas down to get the values for all the FDs. Superb. Now to get the interest rates for each of the fixed deposits, we will need to go to the individual bank's website and check their rates. I have opened the interest rate charts for all the three banks here for you. This is for the Axis Bank which says period versus the interest rate percentage. Similarly, for ICICI Bank, the period versus the interest rate. Similarly, for HDFC Bank. I have put the three links of these particular banks below in the description. Similarly, you can go to any other bank you like. Just Google it up and you will get to know. So these are the interest rates that I got from those particular links. Now let's calculate the interest amount. Let's understand how to do this. To get the interest amount is to multiply the amount of the fixed deposit into the interest percentage per day into the number of days. So how do we use this formula? We say equal to the interest rate divided by 365 days. So this way we get the interest rate per day. We have used 365 as a norm. If it's a leap year, there'll be a little small change in the amount. 
we multiply this by the amount of the fixed deposit into the number of days. So immediately we get for this particular FT of 10,000 rupees, the interest amount is 579.66 rupees. Let's get the maturity amount. So we simply add the base amount with the interest amount. Super. Now what we need to find is the number of days to maturity, meaning from today, after how many days is this particular fixed deposit going to mature? For this, we'll use a beautiful formula, which is maturity date minus T-O-D-A-Y and simply close the bracket. Today, we'll automatically fetch the system's date and update every day. So you don't have to manually change anything. Pressing enter. So we know that for this particular FD, there are still 16 more days to go for it to mature. Let's copy all these three formulas down for all our FDs. Wow. In one shot, we know the interest amounts, the maturity dates, the maturity amounts, the number of days to mature. Click below for the part two and part three of the videos. Do see them. There are a lot of new aspects covered which will help you in making this tracker much more useful.